What is the most important thing for teachers to understand about teaching listening? Well, first, I think we should acknowledge that no matter whether you are listening to something in your own language or in English, listening can be hard. Cultural and linguistic differences between speakers and listeners can lead to listeners missing the speaker's message. In a lecture, for example, students can miss the main point when it is stated at the beginning if they're prepared for a discussion leading up to that main point. Or students can get lost in the details of a lecture if they do not recognize the language used to signal important information. So we need to talk about the organization of information and those linguistic cues in class with our students. A second important thing teachers should know is there are active listening skills that can be taught, so we should make time in our classes to teach these skills. One important listening skill to teach is how to pay attention. Even if a person physically hears something, unless they attend to that message, they may not actually hear the information. People naturally listen selectively because there's so much to listen to. And also noise, both external and internal, can distract from listening. Car horns, construction work, a loud radio, or people talking in the next room can affect what people hear. Internal distractions can also affect what listeners hear. Internal distractions come from thinking about a test the next day, worrying about what another person is thinking, or just planning on what you're going to say next. A third thing that teachers should know is that the two main types of listening skills are top-down and bottom-up listening skills. Top-down skills help students to understand main ideas by predicting what they will hear from what they know, what they are hearing, and other cues in the environment. Visual cues typically provide good support. Overall, successful top-down listening gives students that big picture. Bottom-up listening skills help students to decode information based on the vocabulary and the grammar, as well as the clues in the discourse. Top-down and bottom-up listening skills work together for successful listening. I use free videos from TED-Ed on the internet in class to teach students top-down and bottom-up listening with a three-part activity. The three parts are pre-listening, while listening, and post-listening. First, for the pre-listening part, I have a class discussion on key vocabulary or relevant grammar points they will hear. Based on the title and the description of the talk, I have them predict what the speaker will say about the topic. Then, in the while listening part, I stop the video every couple of minutes and ask them to summarize to their partner what the speaker has said so far. This is a good time to also talk with the whole class about words and phrases that they heard but might not understand. In the post-listening part, I ask them to summarize the speaker's main message and provide their opinion on the topic. They can also share their understanding with their partner or with the class. I invite them to ask questions about the content or about the language used in the talk. Overall, the three parts become a seamless activity for teaching listening with a purpose, using both top-down and bottom-up processing skills.